coming of Beowulf enters a boat full of Beowulf's men. The boat traveling towards shore. They approach hills and cliffs. As they reach shore, the men get out of boat onto the land. Beowulf goes and meets a Danish watcher who is patrolling the cliffs. <coughs> the watchman asks who they are and why they are there. Beowulf responds by telling him they are Geats, men who follow Higwag. He tells them they come to slay the monster on their land. The watchman watches their boat as they leave. enter the king's chamber. He hails the king. He tells of how Grendel is ruining his land. Beowulf declares his strength and courage to the king. He is convinced that Beowulf is the one to defeat Grendel. Beowulf tells the king he won't let him down and discusses what Grendel will do. As always, he'll come, eat the people, and mutilate their bodies. And if Beowulf dies, he believes it's his fate. Unferth taunts Beowulf. Enter Unferth, drunken. Unferth was taunting Beowulf in a drunken manner, telling how Brecca was stronger and a better swimmer. Enter Beowulf. Beowulf steps forward and says, I am much stronger and courageous than any other man. We Brecca and I risked our lives in the raging sea. All we had was our swords to guard us. We were side by side for five days and five nights until we were torn apart. I had my shield and sword when a sea beast grabbed me and I killed it. I slayed nine beasts. I haven't heard of such valiant efforts from you. Grendel is not worried about a strike from you, but soon I will go and kill him. Scene. Enter Beowulf and Unferth. Unferth taunts Beowulf, Beowulf about his past win match with Brecca. Beowulf tells a story explaining that it wasn't just for his boast. Flashback, Beowulf and Brecca. Um. <laughs> oh no. Beowulf and Brecca swim violently in the ocean competing for which is the strongest. Brecca falls behind, Beowulf stays with him. Beowulf stays, slays the sea beast that approach and attack. <laughs> Flash forward. <laughs> Beowulf turns tables on Unferth and brings up him killing the Danish. People lose respect for Unferth and praise Beowulf. Queen greets Beowulf. He came out of the marsh and knocked down the door to Rothgar's home. <laughs> he came to and ripped the soldier apart. <laughs> Drank the blood from his veins and bolted him down, hands and feet, dead. Down the aisles, the battle swept between Beowulf and Grendel. Herod trembled wonderfully, wonderfully, built to withstand the blows. Grendel and Beowulf battled across the golden floors. Tears pouring out at Grendel's throat. <laughs> Grendel's days are over. Grendel dies. Exit Beowulf. The
Beowulf looks over the waters where the she-wolf lives, ready to wage war upon the beast. Enter. Uh, Beowulf uh, dives into the waters to search for the she-wolf. Blair. Beowulf swim, swims into a cave at the end of the cave. He submerges into a mass pocket of air to find the lair of the she-wolf. The she-wolf hears a man in her lair. She goes to the to see who is there, and she sees Beowulf. She grows angry at him. She calls upon <laughs> her little beast to attack him. Beowulf struggles to fight the beast. His sword is knocked out of his hand by the she-wolf, making the fight not fair. Beowulf is tired, bloody, and weaponless. <laughs> Beasts and the sheriff are putting the smack down on him. And when things seem to be grim, Beowulf fights them off by hand. Beowulf finds his sword and swims out of the cave. She will anger by Beowulf case chased after him to kill him. Seawolf caught Beowulf and they started to fight. And Beowulf kept plunged his sword into the she wolf her blood. Like acid. The Beowulf plunged into the beast and ripped out her heart. The Beowulf swam, swam to the surface victorious, walked off from the beach broken and bloody. <laughs> and armless and Beowulf goes to the lake to find Grendel's mother. Beowulf arrives at the lake and jumps in. Grendel's mother spots Beowulf and drags him to into her lair. Grendel's mother and Beowulf begin to fight. Grendel's mother holds Beowulf in her clutches. Beowulf draws his sword and strikes her but it does nothing. Beowulf drops the sword and she pins him to the ground. <laughs> she pulls a bloody dagger and tries to stab him, but his arm will hold. Beowulf spots a mighty sword and knocks her and goes for it. Be Beowulf swings the sword and decapitates Grendel's mother. Beowulf takes her head and swims and head and swims to the surface. The end. Enter Beowulf showing his farewells to his allies. Beowulf arrogantly turns <coughs> to his enemy. Dragon enters, emerging from the earth. Beowulf released mighty battle cry. Dragon angrily accepts. Beowulf enters cave and approaches the dragon quickly. <laughs> Beowulf and dragon battle in sheets of fire. Beowulf hacks with his sword against dragon's thick scales, but Beowulf falls knowing his strength is not what it used to be. As shield melts, Beowulf's companions run in terror. Enter Wiglaf. Wiglaf feels guilty for his king's pains. Wiglaf tells other warriors about their oath of loyal service. Wiglaf goes to aid his king by himself. Beowulf strikes dragon in the head with ancient sword, but sword snaps and breaks. The dragon, taking opportunity, bites Beowulf's neck and blood flows violently. Wiglaf lunges at dragon, stabbing the dragon in the belly. The dragon screams, scorching fire, burning Wiglaf's hand. Beowulf, in desperation, pulls out blade and stabs the dragon's flank. The blow is fatal and the dragon withers away. But Beowulf's neck is burning and swelling in pain. Beowulf falls and realizes the bite is poison and the is dying. <laughs> Wiglaf comes to Beowulf, listening to his last request. Beowulf starts out with a ghost, then waves goodbye as he starts his journey with about 50 men, including a companion named Wiglaf. They creep upon a dragon's lair. The dragon blows fire and melts the dragon's, uh, melts Beowulf's shield. <laughs> he swings his sword in response and it snaps in two. Wow. Well, um, Beowulf gets scorched and does a stop, drop, and roll. Wiglaf curses the dragon. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> 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 
It rushes forth to slay it. He delivers blow after blow as Beowulf recovers. Keep it. They are able to slay the dragon. Luxon's son comes into the room while Beowulf is dying. Wizzle <laughs> Wiglaf is the young warrior he sees as the golden gems scatter all around him on the floor. But the gems worn from sitting there all that time, the dragon flew off into darkness. He saw a strange light shining everywhere on the walls, the floor, and the treasure. The young warrior took all the treasure that pleased his eye. His arms, his arms are completely full of treasure. The young warrior killed the dragon with Beowulf's dagger. The gray-bearded lord of Geats, Wiglaf, stopped the fire-breathing rays forever. Wiglaf went back to the anxious to return to Beowulf while he was still alive to bring him the treasure they had won. He found Beowulf gashing for, gasping for breath. Wiglaf sprinkled water over his, over his lord until the words came out. Beowulf told the young warrior to build a tower and to name it after him. I gave my life for this treasure. Beowulf began to give the young warrior the necklace from around his neck. The golden helmet off his noble crown. And the rings off his bold fingers. As he started to burn, the flesh felt, felt 